What is going on guys? Greggles TV. This is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. It's got one terabyte of storage, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and it's their most expensive Galaxy S10 that they have currently out on the market. And uh, it's in the color of ceramic white. You can also get it in ceramic um, black as well. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing opened for you guys to see. It also came with the Samsung Galaxy Buds, limited time offer, not for resale. So you get it for free, um, at least when I did the pre-order you did. Now they just give you a $130 gift card, which is enough to actually purchase these. And then right off the bat, you get the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus in ceramic white. This is the first time I saw it. I didn't see it when I went to the Samsung show uh, of the unveiling of these, but I saw the other colors and it looks kind of like rose gold or something on the side there. It could be silver. It's really tough to see in this lighting. But uh, yeah, it's a hefty phone too. If it has a good weight to it. Headphone jack, still alive, baby. Three cameras at the top here. And then your two cameras in the top right there. Let's turn this on. And the power button is up a little bit further than in previous years, which is a little bit unfortunate, I feel like. Um, it, it was in a good spot before, now it's just a little bit higher, but I guess I'll get used to it. So while that's booting up, let's just take a look at what else comes inside the box here. So you're going to get uh, headphones like you would with any phone, AKG headphones, and they make it look like they're kind of wireless, like almost like uh, AirPods with like, uh, the little stems sticking out. I think that's pretty funny. Oh, she's talking. But you can see, nonetheless, they are wired. Headphones. And then you also get a charger. Matte white. These are like eco-friendly uh, packaging and uh, accessories inside the box, unlike in previous years. And then you get this little thing, which is a wonderful device. Uh, I've, I've been using this actually on uh, my MacBook Pro to be able to get another USB port because it's USB-C and then USB-A. And then just a regular USB-C cable in here. Yeah, so like I was saying, you'll use this if you want to transfer from one phone to another phone. All right, so let's get through this setup. Privacy policy, and then I don't need to do any of the diagnostics if I don't want. All right, so now that we're set up here, I'm gonna do wireless, hit next, and then continue. And then I'm gonna do, it's asking for the pin, so I'll put 1970, start sending data. And you can see it's already starting to send that data, the settings and stuff to the Galaxy S10 Plus from my Galaxy Note 9. So if you have a Galaxy device, it's gonna make it super quick and easy to do it. You can also do it obviously from an iPhone or another Android phone if you need to. So it's gonna restore from this backup. It's gonna do 101 apps, 1700 contacts. A lot of those are probably duplicates. Um, and then you can see what else. You can uncheck some of this stuff if you don't want it to back up your stuff. But and then you can see 3.2 gigs of one terabyte. So I still have plenty of storage left over. All right, so I can protect my phone, face recognition, fingerprints, patterns, so let's do fingerprints. All right, and this is gonna be the setup. I've done a video on this, but it'll kind of walk you through the fingerprint setup. And it's asking me to go harder. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. And there you go, fingerprint sensor added. Let's just add the other one.
all set with the fingerprint sensor on the screen. That's obviously one of the new things about the phone this year. Okay, so finally I'm at the home screen, but obviously it's still downloading my apps and things like that to get it all set up. Um, so I'll come back when this is completely done so we can get a better look at this device. Finally, this phone is completely, for the most part, set up and I've signed into almost, almost, and I stress almost, all my apps at this point set up with my home screens the way I like it, my backgrounds, all that kind of stuff is ready to go. And um, a couple of things just to keep that I've noticed that um, I've run into. So the power button is just, it's, it's just a little bit too high. I've been using it for a little bit and it just feels a little, like I said, a little bit too high. I'm so used, so used to pressing around here and it's all the way up here. And I believe they had to do that because of the radios I've heard. Um, they've had to move it up. The other thing is when I swipe down, quite often I'm actually hitting the camera. And I know that's gonna make it blurry. It's gonna mess with it a little bit. So those are two things right off the bat that I noticed that, I don't know, I'm not in love with. It'll definitely take some getting used to, like I said in the beginning of the video. But so far, like I said, hitting that camera when I swipe down to get to my notifications, quick taskbar, and then also the, the, the power button, just slightly too Hi, and I've already played with this phone slightly earlier, obviously at the Samsung thing, so I kind of have an idea. Like I know the speakers sound really, really good, especially like they sound louder than the last version of the phone, so I'll show you that real quick. So maybe you can hear it, I can hear it definitely. The speakers are definitely louder on this phone than they are on the Galaxy Note 9, which is the last phone I just had. The camera, obviously also that's new on the front and on the back. I'm gonna show you a 4K front camera sample that I recorded with this phone. Here is a sample of the 4K front camera footage from the Galaxy S10 Plus and uh, gives you a good indication of how it sounds. How it looks, again, this is 4K. It's the first selfie 4K camera on a cell phone. And the Samsung Galaxy phones are it. Every version it has it, the S10e, the S10, and the S10 Plus. Another exciting new thing about the Galaxy S10 and S10 Plus is the in-display fingerprint sensor. So no longer is it on the back, it's underneath the display in the middle. So I'll show you. And that's one of the things, again, I'm not completely loving. It's It's, Sometimes, see, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. I know it's supposed to get better over time, and maybe that's just the issue. Some people say you can just tap. I don't, I have to really press to get it to work, unfortunately. Again, maybe it'll, it'll get better and better over time. It's just, it's definitely um, not as impressive so far. Maybe I'll learn to love it and it'll get better. But right off the bat, it's, uh, you can see, not super amazing, no matter if I press it and as hard as I can or just lightly tap it. That one worked a little bit better. I mean, maybe it's just all <laughs> you have to learn how to kind of do it, so. But regardless, it's it's a really cool feature about the phone, it's something to show off to your friends, but I feel like it's still, you know, in the development stages, at least initially. Next, I wanna bring you in to device care to show you that I'm using 103 gigabytes already and I have up to 1024, AKA one terabyte of data, so that all is true. And then when you go into memory, load this up. I'm using 6.2 gigabytes of 12 gigabytes. So if you had the eight gigabyte version, you'd see it have a little bit less than two gigabytes of RAM free. This I have half the RAM still left. So pretty amazing feat right there with having that much RAM. The other thing I've noticed is with this Galaxy S10e versus the Galaxy S10 Plus with 12 gigabytes of RAM, this one definitely feels slightly more responsive, and it should, it has more RAM. Um, but yeah, it just feels slightly more responsive than this one. This one definitely feels like I'm kind of going back to the Galaxy S9 where you get the six gigabytes of RAM, because that's what this has. Um, not a huge difference, I would say, but definitely, I don't know, just, uh, uh, just a surface level, this definitely feels more snappier. I'm obviously gonna need some time to go around with this, but uh, overall, I'm impressed so far. I'm going to need more time with the camera, more time with the phone overall. See if this, you know, camera holes in the top right, they bother me. Um, yeah, it's 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 just, you know, it's if it's the same experience that you're going to get with any other Galaxy phone. For, for the most part, don't expect 
too much of a change in that regard. But overall, uh, I'm definitely going to put it through its paces and give you a more direct response. Hopefully in the next few days, uh, give you like a 72 hour turnaround time. Uh, but anyways, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching guys. See you down the road. Peace.